Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following along my videos, a few months ago I went out and refilled this Lomography Simple Use camera with new film and I recently finished the roll and got the film developed and I'm happy to say that it was a success. We got photos back. Looking at the photos I got, one photo stood out in particular. If we examine it, it doesn't really have any qualities that would make it any special. It's crooked, a bit underexposed, it's not sharp, the grain looks horrendous even after post-processing, and my friend will probably kill me when she sees I posted this. However, I really like this photo. I took this photo in the night the five of us friends decided to spontaneously go out for ice cream in the middle of winter. It was probably minus 20 degrees and did I mention it was at night. I like it because of the memory and sentiment it draws out of me. I remember the laughter, the stares I got when I took out a plastic camera to take a photo with a bright flash. Just the randomness of it all. I think as photographers who are always trying to hone our craft and trying to create our next masterpiece, we sometimes forget that photography can just be about having fun and creating good memories. We don't always need to have beautiful models or Instagram-worthy places, and we most certainly don't always need to have tack-sharp images or perfectly composed shots. This is why I like shooting with toy cameras or disposable cameras. It allows me to just let go and shoot for the fun of it. Factor in the slowness and limitations of film and you get a real, bare-bones experience of just shooting in the moment. Don't get me wrong, I do value good gear and the convenience of digital photography, and I don't think that I would use toy cameras for any serious project, especially paid ones. However, I think that had I taken this photo with my digital camera or my phone, I might have deleted it to take a better one. So where does this lead me? Well, I actually own several toy cameras now and I thought that it would be nice to give them some appreciations in some of my videos. Uh, my current favorite is the Lomography Sprocket Rocket, which allows you to expose the edges of your 35mm film, including the sprocket holes, hence the name Sprocket Rocket. There are other ways of achieving this effect, like loading 35mm film into a medium format camera, but I decided to buy this camera because I thought it looked cute and it was on sale, so I got it. Its optical viewfinder is bright and useful for framing shots, but I wanted to shoot from the hip as well, so to make sure I'm still getting straight shots, I used this hot shoe cover with a level embedded on it. As soon as I got this camera, I paired it with Lomography Color Negative 800 and shot two rolls while on a photo walk. Since I know that I shot those film rolls with a toy camera, I wasn't really feeling any pressures about them, so I, I took that as an opportunity to practice developing Color Negative at home, so I developed them myself. I also used it with a roll of Kodak Ektor 100 just to see how it would perform with a slower ISO speed film. And here are some of my results. Overall, it's a real fun camera to use and I like that it encouraged me to go out and experiment. So how about you? Do you also shoot with toy cameras or do you think that that's a waste of film? 
I certainly get that vibe off other people and, you know, it's okay. It's not for everyone. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Anyways, thanks for listening to my thoughts. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.